Hey guys, it's your chef Jamie and today I'm going to show you a one pan sauce and salmon dish that you're going to love. It takes less than 20 minutes and it is super simple, flavour packed and super tasty. So let's just get straight into it. So I've got everything ready to go. I've got half a diced onion, I've got some capers and black olives, anchovies, garlic, chilli, a can of diced tomatoes, some tomato puree, vegetable stock and then I'm just going to finish with some basil, lemon zest and then there's lemon on the side if you want it to go. So the oven is preheated, I've got a cast iron skillet, just going to fire that one up. We can go straight in with some olive oil and straight off the bat we can go in with our onions. So it's just half an onion there, we're just going to give that a bit of a head start before the garlic goes in and once they've begun to soften we can go in with the anchovies. I've got sliced garlic, I haven't even diced it up, it's literally sliced because it's going to cook down. We've got the anchovies that are whole so we're just going to give it time in the pan, it's going to cook down and then by the time it's all ready you won't be able to see it. So there's no need to even waste that time chopping it or grating it, you can literally just throw it in and it's all going to cook down nicely. So those anchovies are nicely broken down now, so the garlic is going to break down that bit more just through the cooking process. So it, that smell of the anchovies just taking me back to Europe, so it smells amazing. It's one of those smells that just takes you to the beach and supping down on some beers. So it's about a tablespoon of tomato paste that can go in. Just going to fry that off for like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, just to, to, we call it cooking out, just so it hasn't got that raw taste afterwards. So we're just going to fry it off very quickly. And that is going to help thicken the sauce afterwards. And once that's cooked out, we can go in with our diced tomatoes. Just give that a mix. And I'm just going to go in with some vegetable stock. So we just add the stock so that everything can cook down, have a bit more time and it isn't as solid, it's a bit looser afterwards but still got a nicer consistency. And then we can just bring that to the boil and then start cooking out the sauce. So while that's coming up to the boil we can just throw these in. Our capers and I've got some halved black olive kalamata but if you've got green ones that will work just as well and then we're just gonna cook this out so if you wanted to just to counter the acidity of the tomatoes you could just put in like a teaspoon of sugar if you wanted to i'm not going to but the option's always there or even use some balsamic glaze so not balsamic vinegar balsamic glaze because that's got the the sugar content just to give it some lift so Let's leave that cook out for a minute. So that will probably take about five minutes and we can just season that with some black pepper and some salt. So my sauce is almost at the consistency that we want to add. We can see the bottom when we're scraping through. So we can just put our salmon straight on top We can just push that down slightly into the sauce. Give it a shake, can turn off the heat, and then we're just gonna go straight into the oven for about eight minutes. And we're gonna pull it out, leave it to rest for a minute, and it should be good to go straight on the plate. So now is a good time to cook off any broccoli or vegetables that you have, and then everything can just come together at the end. Okay, so let's take a look at this. This should be ready. So they are looking nice and these can just rest for a minute and while they're resting we can just grate over some zest from the lemon tear off some basil leaves and they can also just pull these off and they can just wilt into the sauce just to give it that little bit of freshness. 
And that's it, a really simple dish that you can just throw together in under 20 minutes. And what's a really smart move before you add the salmon, just double up the mix and then tomorrow you've got a pasta sauce ready and waiting to, uh, to go. So it's just gonna save you that extra time. So we can just put that straight into the plate and then you can just fold over that basil into the, into the sauce and then just spoon that over. And that is it. So very, very easy and just really bold, powerful, great tasting flavors.